Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today and today we've got some traditionally wrapped uh, item today. As you can see, look, I would not recommend to wrap anything in framed paper because as you can see, what, luckily what it's popped. Be? Uh, it's a, it's a uh, lovely, overly flora, so it's a flower box. It's a flower box? Yeah. So you have flowers from someone yeah. died. Well, I don't know, now they get flowers, do they? They get flowers. Yeah, so uh, in here I've got a small vacuum, um, one that Paul's not got from the collection. Um, I'm up in it, I think it was only about mm. under £5. It was a little cheap, this one. And I've uh, been looking out for one for ages, really, but you get a few of them around, but it's just looking at the bags. The bags get washed and faded. Or, they, you know, they I get paint all over them. No, I didn't. There was two, actually, on there. And um, I was waiting for the other one to, for the price to drop, but it, it never, it was dropping, but this one turned up and, it, and they just undercut them by about 50p. So I'll put a bid on this one. All the other bids for them because, you know, I mean, they're not brilliant vacuums really, but it's just part of his, part of the collection really. It's just a match. It is the, the matching item for a 70s cleaner. So, um, and, 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 the, and the amazing thing is, there's so many of these around still because a lot of them were kept in the boxes and they were only really used for like vacuuming their stairs maybe, or they were back in the 70s and the 60s. And they- um, Well, I think this might be a good toolbox. Yeah, I think we could put some tools in here. Yeah, that could be a nice- I think, I think a nice Hoover Junior toolbox. Yeah, we can put tools I in there. I think the ones are getting Hoover Juniors and Seniors, just these things. Yeah. What I'll put So there would, there would have been a tool set it that does come with it. Oh, let me get that on there. So they have wrapped it and they shipped it really quick. I mean, I'll pay for it on the oh, Sunday look. and they shipped it on the Monday. It's just, I thought it's a bubble bank. So, um... I thought it was a bubble bank. It's tiny around here. Where's the attachment? There's no attachment for it. You've only got one. That's oh, all you want. Oh. Do you plug it, plug it to the right fitting? I don't know what that is. That's like a rubber bit here. I don't know if that's standard. I've never seen that on it. Um, we can take that off anyway if we really want to, you know. Oh, it went to the side of our plug. Yeah. Oh, look at this plug, look. Now, if you look at it, you'd say, oh, that's an MK plug here, look. You'd say, yeah, that's the MK plug from the 70s. But, no, well, I mean, really, if you got point, uh, it's a hot point plug. So this one was made by MK oh, for a hot this. point. Yeah, well, we could probably get a few quid for that if you really wanted well, what, to. How much it used to be? Yeah, no, it's tested. It that's... was last tested in 2013. Well, that is. So it's been pack tested. So it's a bit manky inside, but we're only going to be firing this one up very briefly. When, when 2013 is? Eh? When 2013 is? I don't know why you take the bags off, mate. Cause... I don't show people the bags. No, it's upside down. So this one was tested in 2013. It's in pretty good when shape, really. The age. Is? When 2013 is? Let's have a look at the date. Mm. So there's a few li little paint marks which we can take off. The dates on the bot. There's a little scratch there, which is all right. I mean, it's not too bad. There's a little mark there, and that's paint as well. So this one's quite a late one actually, because normally these are these are from mm. like the early seventies, but this one is a. Well, I think this one must have been one of the last ones they, they made of this particular color scheme. But this is a. 2614 from September 1976. I think it's blocked with hair. And they are normally blocked with hair, yeah, yeah that's right. It's probably blocked there. And then. How a dust deck works is that the, there's a, the motor's in there and the actual dust passes through around the motor. So it works a little bit like a... Uh, and you can get shocked by the what Bezak said on one of his videos. The best thing to do is if you don't want to take it apart, you want to get something like a... something with a lot of suction on it. Uh, and and pass... No, and, my and suck it out. And my Bezak said you can actually 
he got an executed by his old There is a suppressor in them. Um, these things just last for years. I mean, you can get oh, ones... I think, I think the pressure's in the hand of it. Yeah, you can get ones, you know, 70 or 80 years old, still working fine, these things. It's just so well built, these are. Um, they are generally just the same. It's just like a slight design difference. Once they come to, come to the plastic ones, they were just... I think they were made in Hong Kong or something like that, weren't they? Yeah. They weren't very well made at all. These are the proper ones. They like said there was a... Uh, can, can you try and get the tool out? Right, well, let's they get got the that tool. off. Um, there it is in there. There is like, it is a little fan that spins around. And the the mold, uh, the dirt passes around here. So you sometimes get a hair in there. So you want to get something quite powerful. You can either strip them down. I think they got the screws there. These are rivets. Um, you, you have to, to get these apart, you have to work your way through from the switch down. And then underneath here is um, that's the screw. So there's a screw hidden under there. So you need to take the switch unit all off. So it's actually in good nick, really. I mean. And the tool gets back. Actually, I think it's black or grey. It looks like it's grey originally. No, it's that's 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 off the metal. Yeah. Well built machines, these are. It, it, there's loads of these around, but it's just trying to find ones that ain't too scratched up. You know, they don't really generally go wrong like that. Stop going in properly. Yeah, it won't. So, we've just I've just spent five minutes trying to get the thing off. Now, he wants to put it back on. And this is how I do on my other one. I just. There they go in. Easy. Got to wiggle them. That one's probably never ever come off. See, so you twist it in. Because the normal you... people. Ha. Huh. Is it in yet? Comes off. Easy too. Yeah, I know it will do now. It's, it's, it's been. It's probably like. That's a dust of stuff in there. So what we'll do now, we're not really going to use this one much because it's going to blow a lot of dust around the room. And another one's got this tile knocking me. Yeah, they all have got the same. You can buy like a 60s one. You are can we, buy... Are we make boiler one that's got the zip on it or boiler the zip? Yeah. Yeah, because they had like... The, the Model 100 was the first one and then they did the, the six six four. 1.6 or something is or whatever it is, but they did an A, this one's a B look, and then they did a C as well, and then they did the original one, which was the same as this, um, slightly different, I think they come out originally, this design come well, out in the 50s, in it? early 60s I think, got it's more likely going to have the wrong fuse in it, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to switch this on all over here, Oh, it's not right for you, it? Well, it should be alright. It's got a nice hot point plug, so we're going to change that to an MK one. I mean, it's quite a rare plug, actually. There's probably a lot of people that have got hot point vacuums, and wash that's that plug looks like it's probably come off uh, like a washing machine or something at some time. So they have switched it on like that. We'll uh, keep it away from all the black stuff. I'll come down here. It's going to have a big puff of smoke coming out of it. Not that time. Yeah, these are a bit confusing. Look, oh, uh, now that says it's on. Yeah, a big cover smoke coming out of it. It's expected. So it runs like clockwork. These tell you really good. They're very, very, very reliable machines. You know. You know the original handheld. These were. Well, actually, the Royal actually was the the one that looks like a Dark Devil's the original one, wasn't it? With a brush on it. So yeah, it's a nice addition. Matches cold blue blue um Uber collection from the seventies. This looks like one of the last ones of this style, because I'm pretty sure they they come out at the beginning of the seventies. The blue Uber does set. I can remember my mum having one of these, and she used to do the stairs of one of these back in the day, back in the um. 80s, I think. 70s and 80s, yeah. So she used to have one like that. 
I think she got it off her mum or something originally because she had a well, she had a blue with junior, the dark blue one, and I think she got given the little dust out. But it wasn't in this sort of condition, obviously. But yes, nice. I mean, the bag is in good condition. We'll wash the bag gently. Um, don't machine wash this because you'll take the H off. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. See you on the next one. And we'll uh, probably do a little demo with this after we've cleaned this one up. So work cleans. Bye.